Hey everyone and welcome and today we're going to see how we can squeeze a little bit more profit out of your 3 and 4 gigabyte cards. Alright so before we get started I just want to throw a big shout out to Ezil Mining Pool for sponsoring this video. So how are we going to make more money on 3 and 4 gigabyte cards and that is with dual mining. And that is with either ETH and ZIL or ETC and ZIL. Now the purpose of, this, purpose of this video is to get people with 3 and 4 gigabyte cards. So most likely you're either already off the Ethereum network or you're about to fall off sometime soon in the future. So we're looking at Ethereum Classic plus ZIL. And doing that is you are dual mining. So what is dual mining? I'm glad you asked. Dual mining is essentially you are mining two separate coins at two different times. So with Zill, you will mine it for one minute out of every one to two hours. And because Zill is uh, pretty close to Ethereum Classic, you do not have to change any settings around. So you can just let it go and not have to worry about swapping over to a core memory uh, overclock from a core algorithm coin. Because Zill is only for a couple minutes every couple hours, you are primarily only mining Ethereum Classic. As seen here, I have been on it for a little bit now. A uh, couple days, I guess, and you can see our next zill round is in 13 minutes. You will see by the slight cutoff, but you are mostly mining Ethereum Classic when it comes to this with the odd boost of zill. So I'm going to run into what to mine here. I did put in my numbers, so if you are running like me, 570 with eight, four gigabyte cards, you're getting 24 mega hash on Ethereum, 60 on Ethereum Classic. We're going to do our quick calculation here. So eventually we will fall off this network and we won't be able to mine it. So this is for now or future purposes, depending what you want to do. So it says $1.39 after power, $1.68 before power. And as you can see with Ethereum class, we're making $2.02 .02 per day based on these estimates. So we are up on dual mining with Zill. So if you're unfamiliar with the DAG size and what I mean about falling off the Ethereum network with three and four gigabyte cards, three gigabytes are already gone. You can no longer mine Ethereum with them. You can go to minerstat.com here and take a look. So as you can see, our DAG size is 4.1. So 4 gigabyte cards only have 4 gig of thing. We have LOL miner and everything out there that's trying to enhance this. But eventually they will fall off each epoch as you can see here. Our next one is actually stated. I'll put in 401. And it is set for March 12th. Today is the 9th. So every epoch we will see a reduction in hash rate until it is unprofitable on 4 gigabyte cards. Or they just can't mine it at all anymore. So that's what I kind of mean here when I'm coming to the 4 gigabyte cards and the DAG size. So you can kind of track this here. Like I said at minerstat.com to see when the next epoch is and when you can expect another hash rate drop. So uh, you can save yourself some time and move to Ezil right now. Or you can just keep following this off on Ethereum. But eventually just keep in mind... Ethereum will no longer be mineable on four gigabyte cards within a month or so. All right, so before you can even start mining to here, you are going to need a wallet to log in and mine to your address. So here you can either pick Ethereum or Ethereum Classic as well as Zill. So I'm going to show you a wallet and the one I use. I currently use Exodus and that does have Ethereum Classic as well as Zill. I also use this for my XMR, but this isn't about that. So here, if you scroll down, I do have Zill in here somewhere right there. But if you can't find the coin you're looking for or to see if it supports it, just go down here, type in Zill. There it is. As you can see, I already did have it though. So there we go. We got Ethereum Classic and Zill here. Exodus works great for this, for having multi purpose coins. Just make sure you have everything backed up, saved, and two factor on. That way you're the safest. Once you have those, you just plug your addresses into here and that way you can view your own screen. Now we'll go through how to actually set up your miners uh, through HiveOS and Windows. First up, the way I'm using it is HiveOS. And you're going to need to make your wallet. Now that you have your addresses, you're just going to click on wallets. Add your wallet. And then you're going to have to pick your coin, which is ETC. I already have it all set up. As you can see, I have ETC Zill for EZIL. So I'm just going to go to edit. You can see our settings. So we picked our ETC as our coin. Now for our address, we're going to want to post our Ethereum Classic address. Then you're going to want to put a little period here first. And then your Zill address right after it. Then your name. And then you just hit, well, it'll be safe for you. Update for me. Now you have your wallet set. After we got our wallet all set up, we're going to have to make a flight sheet. So this is pretty much uh, your program to run your mining, your cards for mining. So you're going to click on flight sheets. 
Obviously, we're going to pick our coin, which is ETC. Our wallet we set up, which is ETC Zill for EZIL, which is what I named mine, different on yours. We've got to pick our pool, so I'm just going to put EZ. EZIL pops right up. Depending where you are, I am closest to USA West because I am closest to the west part of Canada myself. So I'm going with USA West. Then we pick our miner. I always use Team Red Miner for AMD. You can choose whatever one you actually want. Name your flight sheet, whatever you would like. Click Create Flight Sheet and you're good to go. I already have all mine set as you can see here, which is also in use. Now once you got your flight sheet set up, your wallet's all set up, everything's good. You're going to click on your worker. We're going to go to Flight Sheet in our worker and then you just hit this icon it will be down here just smash that and it will send your uh e easel ready to roll mining up to up to the moon that's what the rocket ship means sending your stuff to the moon which begins at mining and you're all set so that is how you begin mining on hive os to easel itself now let's take a look at windows and if you haven't yet please hit that subscribe button only 10 to 15 percent of viewers are the subscribers so bring that number up and smash that subscribe today all right so next up i'm going to show you how to uh, log in and mine with windows 10 so first up we are going to need a bat file i am using t-rex because this is a 3060 ti in my computer so here we have easel me i already have my bat file made but i'll just show you how to do that right quick so you're going to want to right click go to new text document you want to type easel slash me and you're going to want dot bat it has to be dot bat to make it this executable file like i said i already have mine so we're all set here so i'm just going to close that off now you're going to go to start here they have the exact same signings here so we're going to click usa west like i did in hive os i'm just going to copy t-rex right click copy once it's highlighted we are going to find my dot bat file again go down to my miners gpu ethereum newest t-rex for me now i'm going to go to easel me i'm going to edit that i'm going to paste this right in there and now we're going to have to add our wallet addresses in here so we're just going to get rid of this i'm going to find my wallet addresses which should be up in my documents that's just fine yep crypto addresses close this down so first etc exact same address I did use inside of Hive OS. So we're gonna copy that right where we erase that. The period again, because we do have to add our Zill address right beside it, just like in Hive OS. Copy. Now we're gonna paste this in here as well. Name your worker if you want, so you can just get rid of this. I'm gonna put Rabid Mining PC. Then you'll just save that and we should be good to go. Exit. Now all you'd have to do is go back into your mining, find my miner, GPU, Ethereum, latest T-Rex, and our easel me should be there. You double click this and you're good to go. Everything is all set up. So that's how you would use Windows 10 to set up your miner. So once you are actually mining to the pool, then you can just log in to check your uh, stats out so like I said ethereum or ethereum classic like we are you just click there put in your two addresses this will light up blue and you can log in this is your dashboard you can change your minimum payments for zell or etc as i'm here you just click the little crayon icon now you can see them i do have a current payout already for etc which happened right here 0.5 because my minimum setting is 0.5 now you also have referrals. I'm using someone else's. You cannot use your own on yourself, or at least I couldn't get mine to work on myself. It only lasts for a couple of weeks for the initial cash back because it is a 1% uh, pool fee, which would doing you 0.10% off, so 0.1 off, which brings you down to 0.9% of a pool fee. Uh, I will have my referral linked in the description as well. You can see it right here. So when you sign up, you will get your own referral code on your own. Here is mine, 790E. You can either You'll have a link to copy or just your straight link, which you could type in straight right here for someone else to use of yours. Or you can make your copy your link and they can just click on the link and set everything up and it'll auto go once they get mine into the actual address. So either way will work. I will have mine posted in the description. And if you want to type it in yourself, like I said, it's 790 with a small E at the end. So that about sums up EZIL here. So hopefully you guys swap over and it might get you a little bit more profit. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Rabbit out.